You want some? What is up everybody? I'm Adam Schultz and today we are going to be checking out more on Beely Beely. Let's get to it. Okay, so today we are going to be checking out one of my favorite Chinese vloggers. He isn't really Chinese, he's Canadian, but he's lived in China for a long time. So he is Jelito, or Jared. He is super popular on Bili Bili. And today we are going to be checking out one of his more popular videos. It sits at 476 one, which is like almost 5 million, like 4.7 million. So hopping right into it. The volume turned off so I can actually hear myself think. Um, and then also not to get into any sort of trouble because he's playing Shape of You by Ed Sheeran during it. So can't do that in America. Okay, so the first thing that we'll notice is there's a lot of um, different words, different colors that are shooting across the screen. I imagine that a lot of that uh, ties into either different levels or different ranks that people are sitting at in Bili Bili. So like we just have people commenting as, as things are going on and people really like that. So here we have this person saying uh, Joshua. So like this is me. So the equivalent of us just looking at someone like falling down the stairs and saying same. So Joshua. Um, let's I see a lot of 666 pop up in all of this, and in the West, 666 is like the devil's number. But let's see why people say 666 in Chinese. Looks like 666 plays off of Liu Liu Liu, which refers to the Chinese word for skilled, Liu, instead of the devil. According to Baidu, Chinese League of Legends gamers were the first to use the number 6 to express awe and respect for good gameplay. So at first this took place in League of Legends chat feed, but now it's not uncommon to see 666 on live streaming platforms. So I guess that that's what they're getting at with 666, is just it means like smooth, skilled. I'm not entirely sure why you'd use that with him like dancing in a shower, lip singing, lip syncing, singing? Anyway. Moving on, what are some others that we see? So here we see this character often. This is just like laughter. So this is the character ha. So it's just ha 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 ha. And you just have ah, uh, so like screaming, I would take it. More 666. Here's one that I know my friend Kara is gonna be upset about this, but I have once again completely forgotten what 23333 is. I know that she says that threes like the more threes there are, the like more intense the feeling. Okay, so we should mention that an ancient online community MOP, the 233rd emoticon of MOP is like this. Okay, so it's just like laughter. So therefore many people love to add 233 when sending messages. So the longer the three grows, the more he or she is laughing. So it's the same as us being like L O O O O O O L L L L L or L M A O O O O O O O. So the more you add, the more like intense the laughter, I guess. What even is this about? So like new foreigners in China versus people who have lived in China for a long time. I've also seen a lot of people throw this up here. So Arga, so like second brother. I guess that it's just like them showing like love to him. Now, a friend Kara told me that not all mo like like repeating things are necessarily like Cheng Yu, but I need to learn Cheng Yu. Cheng Yu are like um, Chinese idioms, but they use them in everything. So the more Cheng Yu you remember it's like knowing a whole story in only four words so it's like a shortcut i think prosperous okay hong hong huo huo so red red fire fire i guess this means like prosperous 
are like booming on the up and up. So, uh, so just calling them prosperous there. Continuing on, here we see somebody throwing out a lot of Fs, which is like paying respects in the chat, like old Call, Call of Duty thing. You can push F to pay respects. So not everybody in every game uses it, it's like a joke. One thing though here is people have argued that because with Chinese characters and how they work, they're a lot easier to just kind of speed read and look through. Whereas you wouldn't be able to do this with English because it would just be this huge giant mess on the screen of all of these different words. But I kind of feel like either way, it is just a lot to look at. So watching videos like this for me, I think would be really distracting. Like I wouldn't be able to pay attention to both the video and things happening on the screen. Though maybe it's just as time goes on, you get more and more used to it. The more you try to study a language, and the more intricate you find it, the more you realize that all of those intricacies are basically lost in everyday conversation, right? Like, in normal everyday English, for example, we aren't using a huge, giant, extensive language. Um, we are using very casual, easy words. Like, we probably use the same, like, like 200 words even on a day-to-day -day basis. So no, that is, I think, very accurate no matter the language, is the more you understand a language, the less of it you have to use. I think that that's pretty cool. Okay, okay, okay. Ha 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 ha. Clay, clay, clay. Can I add my own? Ha 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 ha. Okay. So, four of those. What is this? I'm not sure. I don't know, you know, like, like, he looks friendly, so we're gonna do it. Send. Is he there? Look it! We made it, boys. We made it. 2 minutes, 14 seconds. Here we are. We'll see that. So, like, like, I'm dying. Um, friend of mine has informed me that they basically say, like, I'm so hungry I could die, I'm so tired I could die all the time. Well, Ursula, like, I'm so hungry I could die. So, really proving that the only barrier between people is the language barrier. Like, we're all the same. We're all, like, drama queens. But now, I've noticed that really the majority of these really seem to just be a lot of laughter. So it's, it's, it is almost like how in older shows we used to basically just like add a laugh track to everything. Like main thing that pops up is like uh, the Big Bang Theory, how the only way you know something is funny is because they threw a laugh track every five seconds in the show. This I have mixed feelings on because although on one hand it is almost kind of like, like intrusive to your own kind of experience, you can turn it off, I believe. I don't really know how because I haven't tried and I can't read most of this. But I know that you can turn it off, but I think that this kind of helps with more the community feel. So you see what a lot of other people are saying. It helps to maybe feel less alone when you're watching it. Like, like it is all about the experience, less so about just what is, is going on between you and the other person, which I think is why this wouldn't be terribly popular in the West currently because we kind of focus more so on the interaction between us and our favorite, say, YouTuber or online personality. So we kind of like it to be more like, like just between me and them. Whereas this is, is kind of like an all around, it's, it's the community feel, right? So it's the YouTuber or Billy Billier? I need to work on my lingo. I can definitely see the draw to that. Is 985 anything? A reference to Project 985, a, gov a Chinese government program for creating the country's top universities, often posted with other numbers by Chinese users on social networks in reference to Huawei detaining an employee for demanding severance pay. Well, let's pass our pay grade. 
Okay, everybody, I hope that this video helped to kind of shine some light on Beely Beely. Maybe one day you'll be throwing up uh, bullet chats on my channels. Wishful thinking, right? As always, make sure to like, subscribe, give a little comment, notification bell, give that a click, all of that good stuff. Jesus and I would like to wish all of you a very good night.